Good afternoon, Buckingham Square. This is Sharon. How can I help you? Hey, Sharon. I'm a tenant here at Buckingham Square. Deep in the deserts of Roy, New Mexico, lives a man with an obsession. A tenant from hell. Endlessly dialing. And he always asks the same question. Will it flush? I have a collect call. Will you accept the charges? Yeah, go right ahead. She's being kind of a bitch. Call her a bitch again, I'll come find fucking you. She's being kind of a bitch. Patch the fucking call. Maybe I don't want to now. Patch the fucking call. Maybe I don't want to now. Patch the fucking call. Oh my god, like I fucking oh, oh my god, like I fucking care. Oh my god, like I fucking care. That's the fucking call. Oh my god, like I fucking oh, oh my god, like I fucking care. Oh my god, like I fucking care. That's the fucking call. I just say whatever the fuck I want, whenever the fuck I want. Oh my god, like I fucking oh, oh my god, like I fucking care. Oh my god, like I fucking Hello everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show, I'm your host Brad. That was an intro song by MC. Thanks MC for that intro song. Thank you for that opening drop, Nagler. And thanks to the five sponsors of today's show, Theo P, Ryan B, Ernie M, RT, and Steve B. They all support us over on patreon.com slash phone losers. And you should be doing that too. You get extra shows every week. And by extra shows, I mean one extra show. Sometimes two. Usually just one, though. Why am I saying shows? Anyway, I don't have any announcements today, so I'm going to tell you this. You need to listen to other prank call shows besides mine. There's a bunch of them out there. You can listen to a live show every single night of the week. Tonight, it's going to be a late show with Devin. Yesterday, we heard Wasted Memory and then Deadly Pliers. And wasn't Snappy on before that? And tomorrow, we're going to have Robocalls with Dr. Tom Servo. That's going to be a live show that you can participate in. So go to worldofprankcalls.com, click on the prank shows thing in the menu, and there are two different lists. There's a list of live shows, and there's a list of podcasts. On Friday, we're going to have some Dragon Mirror. On Saturday, we're going to have some Dwight the Janitor. Every week is packed with prank calls every single night. Come and listen to prank calls. Who doesn't like a live prank call show? Hello. Hi, Charlene. Yes. Hey, it's Roy, your neighbor. Oh, hi. I live over there on Street. Oh, hi, Roy. <laughs> hey. Hey, you know, you know, last year, um, you guys had that Halloween display where you put up, you put up the tombstones and you put the names of my family on them? No, that wasn't us. Well, no, that was you. I remember. Anyway, c- could you not do that this year? Because that kind of creeped us out. That wasn't us. No, I'm, I'm sure it was you. It was right in front of your house. No, we don't decorate this year. No, last year. No, we haven't decorated in several years. Well, last year you you put up tombstones and you put the names of me and my wife and my two children on uh, four four different tombstones. Nope. Nope. We haven't decorated in years. And you put a date, you put a specific date in 2024 and it was all the same date. Oh my goodness, that's awful. No, that wasn't us. I know, I'm, that's what I'm saying. That was kind of rude. Could you please not do yeah. that? Don't do that yeah. this year. I, I, don't, I don't even know you, sorry. Yeah, I know, that's what, it's, that's what makes it extra weird, because we don't know you, and I don't think you know us. So like, why do you want us dead? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I could, don't wash that on anybody. Can, can you just put random names on the tombstones this year? Well... I don't know really what you're talking about because that wasn't us. Well, I'm, I'm sure it was definitely you. No, no. I it, think it was, you got it wrong. It was you and Albert. Yeah, I think you got it wrong. Okay, well, I, I just please don't do that again. That that, that uh, you know creeped out my wife. Well, if you see him, come to the door. And let, let let me know. Well, no, I don't. I I don't want to see him. I want you to just please don't, don't do it. Don't say, do I don't want to do it either. Yeah. Well, don't do it then. Don't like you did it I last year. I won't do it. I won't do it. Or was it Albert? Did Albert do it last year? No, 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 no
nope, we haven't had decorations out forever, so I don't know even know what you're talking about. Well, except for those tombstones, you put up tombstones with our names on them. No. That's creepy. No. Yeah, that would be creepy. Stop being creepy. I guess so. All right, I love you. Okay, bye-bye. Goodbye. That's a number from Nick. As usual, one of his next door numbers. I'm just kind of going through the request folder right now and seeing what's in here. Hello. Sharon, why are you hanging up on me? It's Roy. I Because I didn't recognize the number and I'm trying to fill out an application for a rental agreement. Oh my gosh, you just kept hanging up over and over. And? Well, I don't know. It's kind of rude. Did Why just... are you calling? Well, I was going to ask about your Halloween decorations that you're, uh, you know, like the ones you did last year. What? Last year, you put up Halloween decorations. You put up like uh, skeletons and you wrote the names of me and my family members on the skeletons like we were dead. Can you please not do that this year? I didn't even do that, and I don't know how you got my number. Please stop calling me. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, dear. Holy shit, she was great. Thanks for that one, Nick. Hello. Hi, Stan. Yeah. It's Roy, your neighbor. It's who? Roy, your neighbor. Yeah, sure, Roy. What do you mean, sure? Yeah, I'm, over, I'm over on Rhea Court. Rhea Court? Yeah. Okay. Okay, why are you saying yeah, sure, like I'm full of shit? Yeah, I don't know who you are. Okay, well, I'm telling you, I'm Roy, I'm your neighbor. I was just calling about something. What's that? Um, well, you know how last time, uh, last year uh, for Halloween, you had those decorations up of, you you like had, you had a lawnmower out and, and like a mannequin dressed up like me, like you'd run me over? You know, enough of your crap, okay? I'm not going to listen to this. Can you not? Hey, no, I can do you, not. Can you not do that? Please don't do that this year. Don't even start. No. Oh, man. These are some good ones. I wish they'd stay on the phone, though. That was another one of Nick's numbers. Thanks, Nick. Hi, James. Yes. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Roy, the one over on White Oaks Drive. Uh, White Oaks Drive? Yeah. Uh... It's a street over from you. Have you never looked at a map before? No, I never paid any attention. Hold on just a moment. Oh, please. my God. Hello? Hello? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, no, I never paid any Never paid any attention. Oh, okay. Well, that's weird. Anyway, uh, you, know, you, you know how you had, you, last year you had that Halloween uh, decoration, you had that display up of the witches, and they were burning someone at the stake, and it was me that they were burning? No, and, no, I didn't have any. I don't know anything about what you're talking about. Oh no, I I, don't I, I know it was at your house. Can you please just not do something like that again? That kind of freaked out my wife and kids. No, I didn't do anything about it. I don't know anything you're talking about. No, you you had that Halloween display of of the witches. No, like, no, no. I don't have. With, nope, I don't have any Halloween display. And the, no, it was la I, last year. I'm just asking. Can no, you? No, no, I, I did. No, I did not have one last year. Oh, yes, year. you did. Just please don't do it this year. Please no, don't. No, I did not. I did I did not have any Halloween display ever, never in my life. Well, no. you did last year. You had one last year where I was no, burning at the no, stake. No, 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 listen. I don't believe in Halloween. I would not have a display because I don't believe in Halloween at all, so I would not ever have a display so you're confusing me with someone else because I don't, I never, I don't believe in Halloween at all. I don't believe in anything to do with Halloween, so I did not have any display, so you'll have to figure out who you want to talk to, because I don't have any interest in any Halloween. Well, I'm I sure it was you. It was, it was there on no, Oaks it, Drive. Okay, you're, not, you're not paying attention, man. I'm telling you, I don't believe in Halloween. I didn't have any Halloween display. Okay, well, I'm just saying I don't appreciate you insinuating that I'm a witch, because I'm not a witch. I don't even know. I don't even know you, man. Where do you live? What's your name? Uh, where is, do you live? What's, th this is what Roy. Is I already I already told you where I live. And in, in more where on, do you live? What's your, what's your address? Well, I'm I'm over on White Oaks Drive. You said you don't even know where that is. 
No, how would I know? How would I know to make make fun of you like a witch if I don't even know where the street is? I don't know anything it's about like it. It's like the, so I don't even the know. street on the other side of your house. No, Idiot. I don't know anything. Idiot. You, 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 anyway, Idiot. anyway, you got to get your, you got to, your name is Roy. What's your last name? Uh, Jerbel. Listen, just don't be making those Jerbel? weird Halloween displays right. like you did last year. Let that's me, a that's a little creepy, man. All right, just a minute. What? He said just a minute, and then he just hung up on me. Hello? Hey, Randy? Yeah? Hey, it's your neighbor, Roy. I live over there on Drive. Oh, hi. Hey, I'm with the Homeowners Association. Uh-huh. And uh, they want me to call and ask if you could um, stop doing those Halloween displays like uh, you did last year where you had the, the tombstones that, with the names of that one family in that one house. Huh? You, like you, you um, last year for Halloween, you, you put up a display of tombstones, and and you had the the Tompkinson family. You had all the all of their names on there. No, you got the wrong neighbor. Oh no, it was definitely you because you did the same thing back in uh, 2019 as well. So can you please not do that this year? No, who is this now? Uh, it's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Roy, who? Uh, what? What address are you calling? Well, you're on drive. Yes. What address yeah. do you want? Like sixteen thirty-nine. Yeah. Well, yeah. you got the wrong neighbor. Did I did not. I I don't have. I I did not put out any Halloween stuff. Oh no! Last year, like you you put up those tombstones I, and you put up the name the names of the the the, Roy? the man Roy? and the woman and the two Is children. Roy? Yes. You're annoying me. You got the wrong neighbor. Well, you're you're annoying your neighbors by putting up weird tombstone things. Roy, and... you're annoying. You're. I'm new to the neighborhood. I do not do the Halloween decorations. Yeah, you're, you, you got the wrong neighbor. You were here last year, like you were here last year, and you put up those decorations of the tombstones. Roy, yes, you're really pissing me off. I said that wasn't me. Well, no, we you don't. Understand we me? have a report. You've done this. Uh, you, I, I don't know why. If you have something against Roy. those particular neighbors, the Tompkinsons, but like that—that's no way you know, to solve I, it. I'm going to. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you one more time, Mister. I'm going to tell you one more time. I did not do any Halloween. I I wasn't even home for Halloween. You jackass! You're really ticking me off. Well, how would I know that? And don't call me again. Well, can you just go talk to the? I called a jackass. I messed up a little bit on that one. I started to tell him I'm his neighbor. And then I'm like, oops, I'm supposed to just be telling him I'm with the HOA. He doesn't need my address. Silly me. Hello? Hello, Joyce? Mm-hmm, who is this? Uh, it's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Okay, hi. Hi. Okay. Hey, uh, they were just wanting me to um, kind of touch base with you after that Halloween display you had last year. What was wrong with it? Well, you put out um, four skeletons, and you had the names of uh, the Tompkinson residents on all the foreheads of the skeletons. As no, it, I didn't if... do that. I didn't do that. Oh no, that was you. That was the... we have it here in, on the file. So, uh, can you? Please... I had who on it? Uh, the Tompkinson residents. Who? The the Tompkinson residents. They they live uh, just around the bend from you. Uh huh. Uh, they're over there. They're over there on court. I don't know where you're. So, I don't know where that's at. Oh yeah, it's the it's the um a man, wife, two kids. Yeah, you you put their names on the heads of the skeletons that you put in your yard. No, I didn't. This then, is this is a scam. Oh no, it's not a scam, ma'am. And then the year before, you had the uh, the witches burning the uh, Mister. No, Tompkinson. I did not. You no, I don't know where you're coming from, but you're way off base. Man, we have it in the file here. It's Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm returning your call. Oh, you just answered when I called. Oh, uh, this this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Which homeowners association? The Village of Wood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. What's and uh well ahead? okay, yeah, thanks for permission to go ahead, jerk. Um, they want me to call and just ask if you could not do uh, the Halloween display this year like you did last year, where you depicted your uh, your next door neighbors as being dead. 
What are you talking about? Uh, just, just the Halloween display that you did last year. You had the uh, the witches, and they were burning up, burning a man at the stake, and it was your next door neighbor and his wife. Are you uh, are you uh, pranking me or what? Oh no, I wouldn't prank you, sir. I'm a grown man. And who is this? This is Roy is your bell from the homeowners association. There's no Roy. There's no Roy in uh, our sub. There's no Roy in what? Which uh, unit are you in? Okay, don't try and turn this around on me, Buster. You need to stop <laughs> making displays like that, freaking out your neighbors. Uh, well, let me tell you this. If not whatever funny. I did last year, I'm going to do it this year, too. Oh, no, you're not. We'll take it down. We'll we'll fine you. Ah, shit, I guess we can't find him now because he just hung up on me. He figured out how to defeat us. Hello, this is Lee. Hey, Lee. It's uh, Roy from the Neighborhood Association. Hi, Roy. Hi. Hey, uh, they they want me to ask you just not to um, put up a Halloween display this year like you did last year. I didn't put up a Halloween display. Well, well, last year you had that one up where uh, you you, um, you you made it look like uh, your neighbor had been run over by a car or by a lawnmower. I did not. I did not do any such thing. Oh, not a car, a lawnmower. I'm sorry, a car would be silly. I ne- I didn't even put anything up for Halloween. I started to put a bale of hay and a little pumpkin that said the Smiths, but that's nothing. I did not yeah. do a Halloween display. Well, no, last I'm talking about last year because you had that lawnmower out there, and then you had like your neighbors. I ar- did not, honey. I did not do anything like that. You have the wrong person. Yeah, and I don't know who you're talking well, about. It's not me. Your neighbor was just upset because you dressed him in the same work clothes as him, and, and you made it look. I did not. I don't know who you're talking about, but it's not us. And I really resent this phone call because I wouldn't do such a thing. Yeah, but you had it in in the same hat that he always wears. No, I did not do this. And he had his name. Let uh, let me talk to your husband. No, you can't do it right now. Why? We did not do any kind of display, period. No. um, Hello. Hi, Kathy. Yes. Hey, it's Steve Dave from Verizon Wireless. What? Why are you calling me? Oh, uh, well, we're changing your phone number today. This 3383 I number. I don't have Verizon Wireless. Oh, yes, so you do, ma'am. We're changing your phone number right now. Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. All right, that one was a uh, prank my grandma number from somebody named Craig. And I've tried to call her before and I never got an answer. Here, let me try her one more time. And he also wants me to call his grandpa. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? I'm trying to give you your new phone number, lady. Just let me try and do my... I'm, I don't have I don't have Verizon Wireless. We changed your carrier, too. Now you have Verizon Wireless. We switched everything. Why would you do that? Because, I, you can't do that without me saying so. No, I work at a Verizon... I work at a cell phone store. We can... We work with all the carriers. We can change anything to anything. No, you don't. Just stop calling Look, me. I just wanted to apologize for changing... Okay. There you go, Craig. I have successfully pranked your grandma, who wouldn't answer before. Now let's try your grandpa. And he requested that I change the phone numbers. He wants me to also change... The grandpa's phone number. I looked up the grandma's phone number and it said Verizon Wireless, but I guess it lied to me. He actually tells me his grandpa's with Cricket, but he doesn't tell me who his home number's with. He gives me his grandpa's home number. And is this the guy that's married to the lady I just called? Or is this a different grandpa? I don't know. Yeah. Is this Aram? Yeah. Oh, okay, great. This is uh, Steve Dave. I'm with AT&T Wireless. We're We're changing your phone number right now. Why? You can't change my phone number. Oh, yeah. No, the 6028 number, it's not going to work anymore. We're getting ready to change it to a brand new phone number. No, you can't change it. Well, we, no, we, we are changing it. You don't get a choice. It's uh, It's been changed. I have your new phone number here. I'm not even with AT&T. Well, it's Cricket. It's a division of AT&T. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen I'm not here, changing sir. My phone number. Oh, it's yes, a we are. Phone. We changed your phone number, and that's not a business account. Okay. I guess he really was with Cricket. I looked it up. 
while it was ringing and it said he was with AT&T, I should have listened to Craig. He told me it was with Cricket. Let me try him right back. And here, let's see. What's his home number? Can I call him at home now? His home number is uh, bandwidth.com. It's probably Google or something. And he's not picking up his cell phone. Hey. Hey, Aaron? Yeah. Uh, This is Carol from Cricket Wireless. I don't know what you're talking about, but don't call back here. Uh, Aaron, wait. No, I'm going to call him to let you know about your new phone number. Crap. All right, that was him on his home phone number. Wow, three phone numbers in that email, and all three numbers picked up. That's kind of amazing. Thanks for the numbers, Craig. I don't think I would call those a success, really, but I tried. Maybe I did them already. Maybe I just forgot to delete that email. Hello? Oh, hi, Derek. Yes. It's your neighbor, Roy. Hi. Hi. Hey, um, I was hoping uh, for your Halloween decorations this year, you could just kind of maybe tone it down a little bit. What are you talking about? Um, well, you know, last year you, you had that, that display where um, you were depicting my death. Uh, where I was trapped underneath your lawnmower. And I don't, that was just a little weird. And it was kind of awkward when we had to walk, you know, me and my family had to drive by it. I don't know what you're talking about. Can, can you just please not do a, a, a Halloween display where you're... Uh, you just don't involve my me and my family in any of your Halloween displays this year. Like this year, like last year and the year before. What what neighbor are you? What are you talking about? Uh, this is Roy. I I told you what I'm talking about. Well, you got the wrong neighbor, Roy. Oh no, I don't. I live over on Glenview, around the corner. I don't know anything you're talking about. Oh, you you know who oh, I am because you. you're you're always making Halloween displays with. Like you put those skeletons out there with my with the names of 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 me and my family on their foreheads. Like like it's supposed to be us when we're dead. Are you, are you trying to be funny or what? No, I don't, know what the hell you're I don't think it's funny at all. You shouldn't be doing stuff like that. Because because uh, we're we're not in on the joke. We we feel victimized when you do that. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never done a Halloween. Day. This oh. decoration display. You you do one every year, and you're you're always like uh, shut up. What do you mean shut up? Have I been told twice today to shut up? I kind of think I have. And that was another one of the grandma challenge slash prank my family things. And that was the dad of a listener. That was the grandma challenge. But you know you can do any family member you want with the grandma challenge. It doesn't only apply to grandmas. But I don't know whose dad that is because there's no name here on the request form except for the dad's name. So thanks for sending that in. It sucks that he didn't believe me about the whole Halloween thing, but I sure pranked him. He was not happy. I got him good. Hello? Hi, is Travis there? Um, I'm sorry. He's not. Can I take a message? Uh, well, th- this is uh, Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Hey, um, he, he, they were just wanting me to let, uh, just want me to ask you to, to uh, not hang up dead animals from the eaves of your roofs. What are you? You know, you know, as Halloween decorations this year, like you did last year. Oh, yeah. Well, I never. No, that's not us. Oh no, we 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 have it here in the file. Uh, you were hanging up uh, dead animals off of the eaves of your roof, and you're writing na- the names of various neighbors on the animals. And that this was is just, a joke, right? Oh, no. That was just freaking people out. Could you please not do that? I, I'm sorry. You're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. I already told you I'm not joking. Okay. Well, this is... this is You're clearly not calling the, wrong, the right house. Well, you are completely off bases. We do not hang things from our, our roof. Well, dead things. We don't hang... It's, you just can't hang dead things. We, no, we do not. Well, no, you, you, did, la- you did last year. I'm saying you can't be doing that. We did not last year. We do not. We did not last year. Well, ma'am, the ma- the main problem is that just that you you're. Can, do you have pictures of it because you're you're of complete, completely off base here. Yeah, and you're, you're completely off base. I we didn't hang anything outside of our house. Period. Yeah, but you're writing the names of your neighbors on these dead animals, and that's not cool. You know, you're freaking. What are you talking you're about? You're freaking people out. Just don't do that anymore. What? about you know exactly what i'm talking about ma'am just please no i don't you, you are you are you up at the office right now because i'd like to speak to you face to face okay well just uh i'm just asking you to pass along a message to travis 
Both of you need to cut that you, out. That's that's not nice. You're you're. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Well, we no. have not hung anything. We have never done anything. Do you want to go t- talk to Margaret? She's my neighbor. Well, the, the, you're you're probably just saying that because you you feel guilty about it or something. I don't know. What are you talking but, about, ma'am? Just. You don't have to deny it or anything. You're not in, in trouble again. I'm not again. denying anything. I'm not denying anything. There's nothing to deny. Well, that's what you'd say if you're denying it. <laughs> okay. So just, uh, you know, just what, don't, what is don't be... Again? Hit- what, what, what is your name again? Uh, it's Steve Dave. Steve Dave? Yes. Okay. Um, you need to get your facts correct before you call okay. because you're completely off base here. You ha- you, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even know where you who's, get who's dead animals who, like that. Like what? Who's did, the one who, who who is reporting this? First off, reporting this? I like it's just a few of the neighbors because you'd written their names the neighbors, on, on like, the. Can you name? Can you name the, the neighbors? Because uh, I have Chris Tompkinson. And what what and, street does she live on? <laughs> uh, she she's on <laughs> Drive. Drive. Okay. Yep. You know even know what street I'm on. Of of course I do, ma'am. What street Look, am I on? What street am I on? You're Fort West. Okay. All right. Did I pass your test? So so how did, has did I pass your my test? neighbors never had a complaint? Like my, what, my why, why are you asking team? what street you lived on? Because I, I, I'm completely thrown off here. I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay. Well, it just seems like you're in a, you, you have a bad case of denial. So just please stop doing what you're doing. Okay, uh, you we, know what? We, we will take this up with the HOA. Well, Thank we, you very much. We just much. don't want to have to find you, okay? Okay. That one's from a list that uh, Crimson sent me back in 2018. It's a homeowners association list, and it looks like I've called about half of the people on it, but there's still a half that I haven't tried. And that's the first person to pick up after two pages of this list, you know, of the stuff that was left. So I'm not having the best luck getting answers on this one. <laughs> Here Gonzalez, please leave a message. See? Hello. Hi, Jean. Yes. It's your neighbor. It's Roy. Troy. Yeah, Troy. Hey, do you think this year for Halloween could you just keep down, like maybe just turn down the boombox with all your Halloween sound effects on it? I think you got the wrong number. Oh no! Last year you had Halloween sound effects. Like playing really, uh, no, I did. really loud on no. your porch all month. Oh no, that wasn't me. And you'd record it in your own things on the tape, and and you you, no. kept, you kept no. d- directing like ha- spooky things toward me and my family. And that wasn't me. Oh, we know it was you. Sorry. You were like, "Ooh, I'm the ghost of," and and you had my no, name in there. That wasn't. That wasn't me. No, you were you were you were. Where do you live? You're pretending to be the ghost of me on your Halloween tape. Uh, I'm just down the street from you a little bit on Ridgeview, like about a block down. I don't live there anymore. Oh, where'd you move to? Uh, uh, Peach Creek. Oh, I don't even know where that is. Oh well, it's down on off of and was it because you? Sorry, I don't, don't, that's not me. Was it because you don't like us that you moved? <laughs> no, Troy, no, no. No, the house was too big. Oh, I see. Okay, it's just that you were, you're setting up those elaborate Halloween displays depicting our, the various deaths of me and my family, and I thought it was weird. Well, it wasn't me, but maybe the people who lived there did that. I have no idea. Mm, maybe. Okay. Yeah, well, good luck. All right. I love you. Good luck. I love bye, you. Jim. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. All right. Mwah. Goodbye. Okay, just a case of mistaken identity on that one. Hello. Hi, Jacqueline. Yes. Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Uh-huh. Hey, um, they were just wanting me to ask you if you could... um. You know, like every year, you always mail out those elaborate Halloween party announcements, and and those. Uh, not not me. Oh yeah, no, you're always doing that. You're like the haunted house announcements, and flyers, no. and you're you're like you don't really have a party or anything. You're just trying to get more trick or treaters. No, that's not me. C- can you please not do that? That's a little uh, irritating to the residents. That is not me. Ma'am, we know it's you. Just cut it out. 
No, that's not me. We know it's you. Just don't do it anymore. Don't pretend you're having a party this year. Uh, I'm not sure who this is, but uh, you got the wrong person. You know, last year you mailed out those party announcements right in the middle of COVID. You don't have the right person. Oh, yes, I do. Just, just cut. No, you don't. You, ma'am, you need to cut that out. And you need to get your facts straight. Oh, I have my facts straight. I have my records. Okay, show them to me. No, that would no. be great. No, these records are for HOA eyes only. Ah, you, you should show. Well, then I'll have my husband take a look at them. Oh no, no, he's he's not allowed to. Only for the HOA people. Uh, he's on the board. Yeah, but he he's not. He doesn't have security clearance to look at these files on you. Then I think you have bogus files. Oh no, we don't. We just don't oh. let we don't let Leonard just root around in our files. He, well, he, you know, if does, you had real files, you would share them because it's difficult to accuse someone and you don't give them evidence. Yeah, well, no, I'm just saying Leonard doesn't have the security clearance for it. He's only a level six. Well, I'll make sure Leonard understands what I've been accused of. And when uh, he's at the meeting Thursday, ma'am. Uh, he just, will bring it up. Just cut it out with your fake invitations and your fake parties. Nope. We're tired you, of it. You got, you got the wrong person. Oh, I you know it's you. Person. No, how how do you know it's me? Tell tell me that. Be- because it's here in my file, and like you're the same person that was making those weird Halloween displays of like witch burnings nope. and stuff. Uh, you know what? I'm a believer in Christ, and we don't even celebrate Halloween, so I know this is pretty far reaching well no how it's just for fun halloween is no, you know it doesn't no, have anything to do uh, with the bible it's just, but just again because i am a follower of jesus we are normally not even home during that time because you're out because you're out trick-or-treating out, we don't give out trick-or-treating we're normally at a fall harvest gathering at my church so i again I appreciate the due diligence that you are doing, Mm -hmm. but you got the wrong person, the wrong house, and it would be nice if you guys did your homework. Well, I'm I'm not saying you really had a party. I'm just saying you you were pretending you were having parties just so people could come by and admire your house. (laughs) We don't decorate. We turn our porch light off. We do not encourage trick-or-treaters. I don't even have small children. You don't have small children? No. You, you, I mean, so they're this, fat? Is, this is so ludicrous. No, it's not ludicrous, ma'am. You're, you're just it's like, you're not, you're not allowed to, I mean, like, it's not like we have specific rules against it, but you just keep sending out all these flyers for, uh, for and, these fake haunted you know, houses. I, 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 I wish you guys took more care to ensure your facts were correct because apparently this act, as you say, has annoyed people, but because you are trying to pin it on the wrong residence, it won't go away because the person that you need to share it with, you're you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh, don't and we again, do it to you? You're, you're the only you know, Jacqueline that lives around here. Uh, you want to uh, give me your name again? Uh, yeah, I'll give it to you. Uh, you know, for the fourth time now. My name is Steve Dave. What's your name? Steve Dave. Steve. Yeah, should have wrote that down the first time. You, and, and Steve, again, you've not given me your name four times, but again, I think it was more like five. No, probably once, and uh, that. But that's okay because why am I to believe you gave me your name five times when your data is incorrect? I don't know. It's probably because uh, I don't know. You just you don't believe anything. Just well, you, you don't believe you your know, your husband's. When, it's difficult when uh, these far-reaching statements are made. Well, no, I'm just saying you're you're mailing out fake Halloween party invitations just to get people to your no. house. Nope, nope, nope. A little weird. 
Do you know what Jacqueline looked like? Why are Do you, you have a picture why are you of her? Why are you referring to yourself in the third person? Do you, I mean, because I, That's I'm weird. so confident you have the wrong person. You're being so weird, ma'am. I'm so confident you have the wrong person. I, I don't think so. I mean, you're the only uh, you're the only Jacqueline that lives in the neighborhood. And, uh, yeah, and what neighborhood do I it, live in? Everybody's what? always talking about you and your your weird antics. And, and what uh, what street do do I live on? Uh, Ninety West. Yeah. See, we have <laughs> we don't even all of our children on Ninety West have grown up. We don't even have kids trick-or-treating over here anymore yeah yeah i know that's the weird thing why why are you sending out these fake party invitations uh, there's not well, even trick-or-treat like give it up ma'am just give yeah, it up the trick-or-treaters yeah, just yeah. aren't here anymore well it, i can't guarantee that uh not the 1980s anymore no 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 so um steve you have a wonderful day oh you have a wonderful day and uh, I hope that you guys uh, get all of your facts together. Oh, we and got then them. When you do, They're in our computer you file, can give me a call and apologize. Oh, I won't apologize until you apologize for sending out fake Halloween invitations. Yeah, that is so interesting that uh, you guys have this in your file, or you have this. Story. This sounds like one of those Halloween stories that you sit around knowing that it isn't true. But but what what would be the Halloween story part of it? It's not very interesting. Well, it, like the it's, story is so far fetched. Ma'am, why why are you why why are you uh, thinking about Halloween stories and stuff? You're supposed to be a Christian. I you, am. You shouldn't be thinking about Halloween stories. To tell it, around. It, it doesn't matter what the story is. There is this huge lie that is out there uh, that has my name associated with it. Okay, well, that doesn't make it a Halloween story. Well, but you called me about Halloween. Ma'am. Is that not right? Ma'am, we, we really, we, we got to wrap this up. It's about time to start the voicemails. I've been doing pranks for over an hour now. Uh, you know, it's it's we we got to get going. This, ah, this, this call has been so going on for like nine minutes now. Ah, okay. Well, you continue your calls. Oh no, I'm I'm done with calls. We're gonna do voicemails now. Ah, so you're gonna leave me a, a voicemail? Oh no, I'm gonna listen to voicemails from the listeners. Uh, can oh. you can you please say uh, th- uh, I just got pranked on the snowplow show. My name is yeah. Jacqueline. I just got prank called on the snowplow show. Mm-mm. Why not? Because. Why not? I don't. <laughs> I don't uh, unless you got some money to give me. Oh, no. no waste- you, you shouldn't care about money. You're a Christian. Well, if you got to waste my time. Yeah, but you weren't doing anything anyway. Oh, yes, I was. <laughs> what, what were you doing? Tell me what you're doing. Don't worry about it. Well, it sounds like you're doing nothing. No, I'm doing a lot. You're probably you're probably filling out fake fake uh, party invitations for your mm. Halloween party this year. Mm. All right. I had fun. Bye. I had fun with this. Thank you. I did not have fun. I had fun though. Uh, so you, I have nine minutes. I can't get back of my life. It's ten now, and you brightened up my day. So you know that was time well spent. You made me mm. a ha- happier person. All right, by bye, get, Dave. By getting all confounded. Mm. Bye, Steve. All right, I love you. Mm-hmm. I love, bye. I love you. <laughs> bye. Say it back or it's weird. <laughs> bye. You're making it weird. Jacqueline, you're making it weird. Uh-uh, bye. Stop making it weird, Jacqueline. Bye. Tell that dog to shut up. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Dave. All right, bye. bye. See, Dave. I love bye. you. <laughs> God loves you. God loves bye. you, and I love you too. <laughs> bye, Steve, Dave. Mwah. <laughs>
<laughs> Bye. Bye. Just hang up the phone. <laughs> Bye. Hang it up. Bye. Hang up the stupid phone, lady. <gasps> Bye. Hang it up. Bye. Get out of my life. <laughs> Bye, Steve Day. Demon be gone. <laughs> the Lord loves you, Steve Day. I rebuke you, Jacqueline. <laughs> Bye, Steve Day. Hang up that darn phone. <laughs> Why? Excuse my language. Bye, Steve Day. Tell that dog to shut up. <laughs> hey, Brad, it's Patrick. Hey. From Illinois, and I was cleaning out my attic and getting stuff ready for our, our yard sale. Mm -hmm. And I went through and I saw a bunch of tapes, cassette tapes. Stuff in there we included the Jerky Boys. Yeah. Uh, both the really slick produced ones that you could buy at the store and also bootleg copies of things that my friends and I would pass around. And boy, what an age we live in, because we used to listen to those tapes over and over again. Can you imagine listening to the same 12 prank calls for hours and hours like yes, we did? Yes, I can. But we live in an age now where you can listen to any number of podcasts, live calls, streams. There's so much content, you'd never listen to all of it. And you all you choose know? to listen to the Snowplow Show. Thanks, everybody. 100 lifetimes. So we're very fortunate to be where we're at, to have all this great entertainment at our beck and call. That's true. Well, anyway, Brad, hope you're having a good week. Hang in there, bud. Don't Make good choices. I'm not your bud, Bye. pal. Yeah, I don't have any of my old prank call tapes. I pretty much gave them all away years ago. But I remember loading up, like, you know, five or six prank call tapes to last me through an entire shift at a factory back in the 90s. But that was never enough. You always had to listen to him again. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey, Crimson. So you made one little comment on that last episode. You're pretty quick for a white chick. That episode. It's pretty racist. Um, what? It, 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 you're saying, oh, you know that you're movie, racist? Catch Me If You Can. That movie where he conned us into believing that he you know, was a con man one time. You might have just been joking. But just in case you thought it was a fake story. It, I mean, of course, you know, all the emotions and stuff are ramped up for the movie, and, you know, they make it a little bit more personal, and, yeah. you know, maybe he didn't meet his dad in real life. But yeah, I read the book, like, several times before the movie came out, so I know the real fake story. A lot, a lot, a lot of that story is true. He really was you know, a fake airline pilot. He really was a con man, Brad. I know. Uh, if you If you want to see the real guy, he did a really good talk at Google, so if you just, you know, go on YouTube... Look up. Uh, okay. Catch me if you can. Talk I know. That Google. It's a really good talk. All right. Thanks, Brad. I bet. Love you. Bye. I don't know. It's supposed to be pretty well known that the entire story is made up. I know he did a lot of the stuff, but he really embellished the details, I guess. Like, did he really fit down a bathroom toilet in a airplane? Probably not. Hey, Brad. Come on. It's pork chop. Hey, From pork the middle chop. of fucking nowhere. Hey. Man. You're a cool dude, bro. No, you're a cool dude. I was aware of you through, like, your Walmart pranks and shit, like hijacking your systems. I think it's how I found the PLA. Yeah. But I just that started reading your book and kind of, like, your back history. Man, that's cool, bud. It's all lies. Come on. I was there, like, less than a year ago. You know, some hoboery under some bridges and shit. Yeah. But yeah, you're a cool dude, man. Th th thank you for doing what you do. Thanks. Anyways, time to fuck off. Good night. Bye. Everybody's talking about the book lately. Hey, Father Brad. I'm Pastor Ravioli, and the congregation hey, wants to request Ravioli. a uh, prank uh, where you call up like a pet smart breed. Or, uh, God damn it. <laughs> fuck. It's fine. Uh, grooming section. Just catch your breath. Continue on. It's okay. Ask if you can bring in your iguana, but you didn't really train him right, so he's kind of aggressive. Anyways, Father Brad, this has been Pastor Ravioli. D like, and, uh, all right. Love from Minnesota. Okay, bye, Goodbye. Pastor Ravioli. I'm going to call up a pet co and bring my 
pet iguana in for a haircut? Is that what? It is? Hey, Brad, it's Chris calling from San Diego, and I wanted hey. to let you know I was having a really bad day the other day, and was listening to an old show, episode three fifteen, entitled "Dick Slapping," and okay. I laughed out loud when you played the Dick Slapping song. It was funnier than the whole phone call. The fact that you sat down and made a song Thank you. because so many people slap their dicks on the phone. Yeah, well, I made that for uh, Devin on Devin's show because she gets so many people to slap their dick on the phone that we definitely needed a song for that. I think you're talking about this thing I made and I stuck on the end of a show, maybe, or maybe it was, I don't know. But yeah, you can't go wrong with dick slapping. Um, that made the whole rest of my day and it's still making me laugh. And I just want to thank you again Anytime. Um, for bringing the funny. Thanks. You should also thank Devin for bringing dick slapping to the prank call community. Where would we be today without the dick slapping? Hey, Brad. Healing's Comet calling up real quick. Hey. Um, I'd like to suggest a collaboration between you and Tim Henson. Not necessarily prank calls, but uh, creating a Beverly Bot variant using clips from Mead Skelton. I think that would be entertaining. However, because Mead says so many insanely offensive things in his YouTube videos... It, it might be too much for uh, for uh, the phone losers of America. Yeah, it uh, might but, be. But, you know, Tim, he'll... We're a bunch of pussies over here. He has no, no barriers along those lines. That's true. Tim's a real piece of shit. So, yeah, I would love to have a Mead Skelton bot on the system. If anyone wants to put together a bunch of clips of Mead, they'd have to be something that, um, you know, people would respond to if they thought that he was calling them or they were calling him. So would that work? I don't know. Maybe. Brad Carter, Butthole Winker. Hey. How you doing? Hey, you know how you're obvious, um, oftentimes um, accusing recipients of motherfuckery? Yeah. Have you ever um, considered accusing them of skullduggery, which uh, the Oxford Dictionary defines as unscrupulous tricky, underhanded behavior? I thought it would be kind of funny if you'd switch okay. up and Hey, your your skullduggery stuff, blah blah blah. Yeah. Bye. We're getting real tired of your skullduggery here in the neighborhood. You really need to knock it off with that skullduggery, sir. We're sick of it. Hey, Brad, this is Shoklo. Been a long time listener. Hey, probably 2014, and I need that call with you calling the old guy in the hospital, telling him he needs <laughs> to mop the floor. I've been looking all over for it. It is one of the funniest calls I've yeah. ever heard. I heard. You know, I don't know if it was you that asked for it or if it was someone else who asked for it recently, but I was looking all over for that. You know, I got like um, all of Carlito's files from his Dropbox after he died, and I tried to search for it that way. I looked on Carlito's YouTube account, and I couldn't find it there. And I think I asked the listeners if they knew where it was. I don't think I got any answers from anybody. But then just recently, I was uh, looking around on my own computer, and I found some files that I'm pretty sure are those prank calls to some poor old man in a hospital. Probably four so. years ago, and I haven't heard it since. Yeah. Please dig that up. That is well, insanely funny. Guess right, what? Thanks. I am pretty sure I know exactly where they are. Oh man, what if I can't find him now? Now that I've made this promise. Oh no, here it is. It's in one of the Snowplow Show directories. So maybe I was planning to use it on a Snowplow Show at some point in the past. Maybe I did use it on a Snowplow Show. Maybe somebody else asked for this and I played it. I don't know, but I found the calls. I don't know why I never put these on YouTube. And hopefully these are actually funny, because I barely remember these calls. But let me tell you all about them. Carlito was in the hospital for whatever reason. You know Carlito, he's always in the hospital. And he has this roommate, which is an old man, and he wants me to prank call his roommate in the hospital so that he can hear the old man complain to nurses or something. I don't know. I forget how this all began, but here is one of the files that says this is the original two calls, and it's nine minutes long. Hello? Hi. It's, this is Mark. Down, I'm in the janitor's office. Yes. Hey, um, we need you to mop... So this old man is in his bed right now, right next to Carlito. And Carlito knows that he's talking to me. We need you to mop the hallways to help, you know, pay for your keep there. Just just kind of help out a little, help out, you know, okay. pu pull your own weight. We need you to mop the hallway there outside your door. Okay. Um, is there a mop in your room? I don't know. 
Oh, can you get up and like look around and check and see if there's a mop? I don't think uh, I don't think I can help Mark. I oh. just got transferred here this afternoon. I don't uh, know much of what's going Did on. Did he say he just got uh, done there's, with there's surgery? There's no one else to mop. We need someone to mop the hallway. It, the floor is filthy. I was up hold there. On, I was hold up. on, just hold okay. on a second. Uh, all right. Could I get a are, are you getting a mop from the nurse? I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, does the nurse have a mop? What did you ask her for? I, I asked her for a bedpan. Oh, oh no, God. that's not going to help with the floors. No, I'm this is sorry. Terrible. I, I can't help you, Mark. Well, someone's got Me and Carlino are terrible people for doing this. got to clean these floors. you got to pull your own okay. weight. you got to pull your own okay. weight if you're going to stay here. Okay, well... Um, if we could, let's talk about it tomorrow. Well, no, tomorrow's no good because we've got uh, Edward from uh, it's like two doors down from you. He's doing the mop, the f mopping tomorrow. Today it's your turn. It, it's like your turn. You got to take your turn and do your part. Would you call my daughter at uh, four three one? Uh, okay, let there's, me see. There's four, his three, daughter's one. phone number. Yeah, and What's tell her what you're talking about. Well, I know, but like she's not going to come down and, and and do the mopping. That's crazy. No, it, it's got to be the resident. We can't just have outside people coming in and and mopping things. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Well, she can help me get it organized. Well, uh, but like, is she going to be able to do it today? Because we need you to mop the hallway today. I can't do it today. Well, why not? Because get, I don't understand the process. You don't understand how to mop a floor? It's not rocket science. You just you just get the mop and you put it in the bucket and you rub the mop back and forth in the hallway. It's really easy. The nurse can help help you understand how to do it. Somebody'll have to explain it to me. Yeah, yeah, the nurse will explain it to you. Can you, you get up I'm ninety years old? And, oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, that, no, no, stop making excuses. Stop making excuses. We need someone to mop in there. Uh, we need someone to mop in there within the next... We, we need you to start right now, because it's got to be done within the next couple hours. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Got to get mopping. I wish if, I could help you, but I can't tonight. If, if you're not going to do it, then who's going to do it? I don't know. Okay, we're going to need you to go uh, two doors down to your right and ask him if he'll swap with you. And you can mop for him tomorrow, and he'll mop for you today. Can you, can you go ask him if he'll, he'll swap duties with you? No, I can't do it. Why? why? Someone's got to mop the floors. They're filthy. Do you, do you want to be kicked well, out? Well, me. You're, you're going to get yourself I'm sorry. Kicked, you're going to get yourself kicked out of here. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Poor guy. Uh, sorry doesn't cut it. Who's going to mop this place? He's going to have to get evicted. Footprints out there. Dirt and mud from all the snow outside. Someone's got to mop. I can, I'm not going to mop. Okay. Don't ask me to mop. That's not okay. my job. Okay. I'm the supervisor. I'm, I'm above mopping floors at this point. Okay. Just, just get out there and mop. There's, I think the mop's in the bathroom. You'll have to talk to my daughter. I don't understand what you're talking about. You understand. Don't say that. You understand me perfectly. <sighs> I'm going to call your daughter and, and file. We're going we're gonna to write you up with a demerit. Okay. You're going to get two demerits if you don't mop. Okay. And if you get, if you get more than three demerits... Then, uh, then you get written up. Okay. And it goes on your permanent record. Okay. You'd rather have that than just mop the floors like everyone else does? Yeah. <sighs> I'll, do, I'll do my mopping when I understand. Uh, when I've been here about 15 minutes. I know. you got to mop. That's how we pay the bills here. Why do well, you you'll have to talk to my daughter. Uh, so you understand, right? I mean, how can you not understand? It's so simple. You got to pull your own weight. You got to mop the floors. I'm sorry, Mark, to let you down. 
That's all right. Well, no, it's not all right, actually. It sucks. But... All right, okay, so that was the end of that call. Looks like another call is happening now, and this is probably the call to the guy's daughter. And I'm guessing, you know, probably during that entire call, Carlito was probably messaging me from his hospital bed and being like, tee hee, he looks so confused. Hello? Hi, uh, this is Roy. I'm the janitor here at the the doctor's where your uh, father's staying. Yes. uh, We're having some problems. He's refusing to mop the floors on his floor because we have to have him mop all of the floors on his on the entire level of the building. Yeah. To help, to help kind of earn his keep, so he's not like a freeloader, okay. and he's saying he's not going to do it. And he's trying to tell me that you're going to do it, and I, I that's just crazy. We can't uh, have people that aren't staying here do the, the housework. Okay, so you want him to mop the floors on the third floor? Everything on the third floor. That'd be great, just for one day. Like the the all the people staying here, they take turns, and today is his turn, and he's got to mop the floors. So if you could well, just, talk- just I'm sorry. He he just came up there, you know, yeah. about two thirty. But yeah. he can't mop the floors. He can't even walk. Oh no, he can like use the mop as a support, you know. Oh no, yeah, that's it, out of the question. Oh no, no, it's got to be done. He can't be a freeloader. He's got to pull his own weight around here. We all do. We all got to pitch in. So, yeah, if you could just talk to him about that, because... Well, I'm not going to talk to him about it, because, you know, the man is, um, almost died, like, a week ago, oh, and, and Holy Spirit, oh. Oh, I don't yeah. care who, I don't care, well, he, can't just, mop, he, he can't mop the floors. Well, that's the way things are done here. He's got to pull his own weight. We can't afford to just hire janitors to mop. We're on a budget. This economy's killing us all. I mean, pardon the pun. <laughs> Jeez, Brad. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, if you could just talk to him, that'd be great. Cause, or maybe, well, like... I'm not going to talk to him. He's not going to be... He's not going to be mopping the floor. Well, he's... The man can't even... He can't even get out of bed. They have a monitor if he even sits up and gets out of his chair. Maybe if you, uh, if you could arrange to switch with another one of the guests here, the patients here. You know, maybe like no. I'm not going to arrange anything like that. He could mop tomorrow, and then maybe someone no. else could take his place. No, today. that's out of the question. Uh, killing and me if here. He's expected, if, he, if he's expected to uh, mop the floors, we're just going to transfer to another facility. Well, maybe that'd be best. You know, he's not going to pull his own weight. We don't need freeloaders here anyway. I've got to go. I've got to go arrange someone to mop the floor now. What is your name? So lazy. This is Roy. Mark Roy. He's not lazy. He's so lazy. He won't even mop. I gotta go. There's something wrong with you. Yeah. Oh, this is the way things are done here. No. They're not done that way with my father. (sighs) All right. Well, thanks anyway. Thanks for nothing. All right. That was it. That was the two calls. And there's two other files here, though. I've got one that's labeled guy talking to his daughter on the phone and it's 27 seconds long. Let's see what this is. Yeah, so this is Carlito in his hospital room recording that guy as he's talking to his daughter after she talked to me. Yeah, um, making the point, well, uh, you have to do your job or you get demerits. And <laughs> demerits. I think the guy's crazy. So the only, the only thing I knew to do... See, if you felt bad about that call, just remember, this is giving the old man and the daughter something to talk about. They're just talking about the crazy guy that called him. He didn't really think he's going to get a demerit or get evicted from his hospital bed after an operation. I'm going to call you, honey. I couldn't make any sense out of it. Okay, honey. Love you. And then there's another file here. It just says more from Carlito. I don't have it labeled with anything, but more from Carlito. And it's four minutes and 44 seconds long. And I bet you it's just more of them talking. I remember... So yeah, this is the daughter in his room. And I don't think I'm going to play all of this. This is an unedited file. Of course not. But he said, you know, 
Everybody's got to pull their weight. Said got to pull their weight. Okay. Uh, there's so much noise, and I know Carlito. He chimes in and everything. He talks to him about the whole crazy thing. Just like he's already called. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Oh, there he is. He's he's chatting with him. It is definitely not stuck. And somehow he called in to you because you're a new patient. He has nothing to do with the hospital because he has a, he has a different area code. Yeah, it's, it's hard to hear anything over the television and the room noise. And fucking Carlito rattling his dishes right next to the microphone. Daughter, you know, call my daughter. And, um, Unbelievable call. Yeah. I know. I hated to do it. I no. I had no, to get no. rid of it. I, I hated to, to do to it. Too. He hated to hang up on me, you guys. What a nice old man. So there you go. That's the call to Carlito's roommate in the hospital. You probably all think I'm a terrible person now, and you're going to cancel your memberships. It's okay. I understand. Hey, Brad. It's hey. your boy, Will. Hey, Will. Um, again, um, I have officially recovered from the COVID. Yay. Thanks to uh, listening to your show. It's Congratulations on, on not no dying. Reason. But uh, anyways, the reason I was calling, so I remember like a couple weeks ago, uh, someone called in talking about, uh, you know, you may be playing an intro show or something like that. You, you suggested, hey, maybe I should just play all the intro music on our show. Yeah. I do think you should do that. But that's not why I'm calling. Um, you think I should do that? For anyone who uh, enjoys Joe DeVita's, intro tracks uh i discovered him on soundcloud um at joe devita that's a d-i-v-i-t-a yeah but uh yeah guy. he puts out really good music aside from go to uh snowplowshow.com slash music and there is links to joe devita's website and his soundcloud and his band camp maybe his youtube all of the snowplow show artists are on there snowplow show intros so shout out to joe devita yeah um his song better you gotta listen to it brad it's really good okay i will um, anyways maybe i already have that's all bye sorry for going over the time limit bye yeah you fucking asshole going over the time limit that's over a minute long uh, i agree everyone go listen to joe devita on his soundcloud or his band camp or wherever else well, hey brad hey uh i'm matt from phoenix hey, hey. listen i'm sort of putting beverly's phone number on cars thing that she hit him. <laughs> awesome i thought that'd be a good uh, i have been neglecting beverly lately i have not been listening to anything coming in on the beverly line because not as many calls are happening anymore so i just don't bother listening a good way to do the ding timber yeah uh yeah anyway see you later you damn hobo that could be fun just have beverly take all the carding calls what a great idea everybody should do that write some carding notes but use Beverly's phone number, which is 270-558-1710. That's how we'll do Ding Timber this year. I forgot who it was. I think it was uh, the show yesterday that I was listening to, which was a Wasted Memories show. They were saying they were trying to do Ding Timber, but I guess they didn't get a lot of calls yet. And I said they should send me their phone number and I'll give out their phone number on this show so you guys can leave Ding Notes for them. Because I'm not doing Ding Timber this year. Sorry, everybody. I don't think anyone's even asked me about that this year. Unless they have in the emails, which I'm really behind on right now. Evening, Bradley. This is Nick. Hi. Uh, in my previous voicemail, I meant to say 2015. September oh. and October 2015. Silly 2021. Me. In regards to the Mizzou protest and them happening after your crosswalk calls. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, this Saturday is the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Oh, shit. So I think this might be a good time Never for you to do a 7-Eleven, 9-11 show. I did it. As always, my numbers Already. are the best. Thanks. And was that a hobo soda or was that a snowplow show? I can't remember. I think that was the most recent snowplow show. But yeah, I think it was uh, last year. I forgot to do the 9-11 calls on 9-11, the 7-Eleven calls. So I made a calendar reminder. So it popped up on my phone. It said, never forget to call up 7-Elevens on 9-11. And I did. It was fun. Hey, Brad. Call me Cactus calling in. Hey. I just want to congratulate you on apparently starting a meme trend. Uh, I mean, I, I'm bored of it. You're welcome. I don't like it. But wow. I'm seeing, you know, the memes all over the internet about people 
stacking up milk crates like staircases and oh, trying yeah. to walk up them. That old thing. And uh, I started thinking about your one prank call. I where, was doing that shit in the 1990s. Bunch of noobs on the internet thinking they invented it. You, know, you went it. up on the 7-Eleven roofs yeah. uh, with your laptop. You left your laptop up there. Yeah. You got up there by stacking up milk crates like a staircase. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you started. These people that doing the the things, the challenges, they're stacking them up out in the middle of nowhere. That's stupid. You got to stack them up against the wall so there's some support, and you can just walk up them like stairs. Those people are doing it on grass. You got to do it on a flat surface. It's like these people have never gotten on a 7-Eleven roof before oh, to listen to their disc man. Also, I wanted to request that you please play uh, Sub Level Rhapsody at the end of this because okay. last episode you played. Uh, you know, I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. Yeah. So I, I wanted another amazing classic Snowplow Show song. So if you could play Sublevel Rhapsody, that would be amazing. All right, Thank you I'm going to do it right now you. because the voicemails are over. I've still got a lot of voicemails left, but I'm up to September 7th. That's not too bad. I'm only a week behind. That's much better than being a year behind. So the show's over. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Theo P., Ryan B., Ernie M., RT, and Steve B. You all are the best for supporting me on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers. Thanks, everybody. I love you. Here's some sublevel Rhapsody. You have no right to do what you're doing. You're... You shut the hell up and do not say her name again. I am going to find you. I am going to gut you like a fucking fish.